Nationwide, record numbers of police officers are leaving the profession, including here in Central Kentucky. The Lexington Police Department is no different. The city's commissioner of public safety says it's the highest number to leave the force in 10 years. Now, new information is shedding light on the impact to public safety and the city's budget. Tonight, Evening Edition's Lee Searcy is going in depth on this issue, explaining how the departures could affect your family. The thin blue line continues to shrink at the Lexington Police Department. Officers bailing at an alarming rate, causing a huge shortage, according to local FOP President Jeremy Russell. I personally would predict that we'd be 100 below by July. That's 15% shy of full capacity which is 633 officers. Russell says it's mainly experienced ones who've left or gave their notice. He says most retired while others resigned and a good portion of those took jobs at other departments. It's a force stretched thin. We have a lot of tired officers out there. And the city's paying for it. Right now, honestly, you could work two shifts per day, seven days a week if you wanted it. According to the FOP, the city paid $82,000 in overtime the past two weeks to cover patrol duties. That's officers working longer shifts on special assignments or filling beat staffing. Do the math. The money spent on overtime just to fill vacant or additional shifts has nearly doubled, jumping from more than $300,000 last fiscal year to more than half a million so far this fiscal year. That's a 60% increase. The overtime adds up. For patrol alone, Russell says the city has forked out $600,000 this fiscal year, which ends July 1st putting them $55,000 over budget and counting. But the city says it's still within its $1.6 million overtime budget. Typically, we have money left over in patrol overtime budget. So again, this year, we've gone beyond what was budgeted, and there's no telling how far we'll exceed it. Setting money aside, we wanted to know what an officer shortage could mean to you. Whether it's a 911 life or death emergency or to report a theft, will police be there when you need them? That's the question. 911, what is the emergency? Obviously, 911 calls remain a priority, but overall, what's the average time from dispatch to arrival? According to Lexington police data we obtained for this past April and May, the average response times were more than six minutes up from a year ago. If you call for a collision report or a theft report or something, you could potentially be waiting for hours. A juggling act many police departments are doing, with even more departures expected at the end of the year. The city's commissioner of public safety says it's the highest number of officers to leave in 10 years, a trend seen all over. I think we've just reached a time where there's enough combination of little things where a lot of people are feeling it, taking it to heart, and just hitting the road. A road away from patrolling the streets of Lexington. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.